Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So one of my favourite things about Design Space is pattern fill. I absolutely love the pattern fill feature because it really allows you to change up an image for print and cut and you can really create some beautiful effects. There are so many things that you can do with print and cut. You can do printable iron-on, you can do stickers, printable vinyl, uh, you can do printable fabric. There is a whole host of things that you can use print and cut for. You can even you can even print your own journal pages from Design Space and you can add beautiful patterns and all sorts onto them. So I've got a basic witch hat here. This is currently set to cut. If I come up to operation and I change it to print then cut and I then click on the colour block, you'll see under print type I get a drop down menu. I can either have colour or I can have pattern. There are lots of patterns already uploaded into Design Space. I've got some in here that I've uploaded myself, but there are lots of pre-existing ones as well. So for example, I could select one like this, and that will then give me a pattern. The great thing is that I can edit that pattern as well. So I can change the scale on it, so I could have just skulls, or I could make it really kind of diddy, so I can play with that. I can play with how horizontal it is, and vertically as well, and I can rotate it if I want to. I can also flip the pattern. So the editing of the pattern gives me lots of options. And it's not just single layer things I can use. If I wanted to create multiple pattern layers, I can do that as well. The cool thing is, is that I can bring my own patterns in. So I'm just in Design Bundles. I've got this uh, very cool rainbow digital paper pack. I'm going to download that. And if I go to my downloads, you can see that I've got all these beautiful patterns that I can now upload to Design Space. So if we go to upload, you'll see that we've got upload image, but we've also got pattern fill. If we select pattern fill, it tells us that we can upload JPEG, GIF, PNG and BMP. Most digital papers will either be JPEG or PNG. We can select upload pattern. As always, we can browse for the file. I'm going to select this one and open. I can give it a name, although you can't search for it by the name. So I always just leave the name that it is. And I normally will change the colour selector to either white or rainbow so that I can then filter to that colour and it will bring up all my uploads. White or rainbow is the one I normally will go for. We're going to go for rainbow today. We can see it's set as a print then cut pattern, which it will always come in as, and we can upload. You'll see it's saying upload successful but it's not showing in our uploads because we haven't uploaded it as an image, we've uploaded it as a pattern fill. So if I go to my colour box, we're set to pattern, I'm going to filter to rainbow, I can see my pattern there, I'm going to select it, I can go to edit pattern, and I can then play with the scale and everything else until I get it how I want it. You can bring photos in this way as well. And of course you can upload photos as you normally would as an image. And you can upload digital papers as an image as well. Although getting them to fit your layer 
can be a little bit tricky and you have to slice them in. Whereas with pattern fill, it does it automatically for you and you can adjust the pattern size. As always, I hope this has been helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And as always, I'll see you all again soon. Bye.